Okay, so welcome to the bonus episode. There's not much going on, but starting off, if you reach the final stages without getting all of Zero's parts, then one of the X-Hunters has broken in and stolen anything you might have collected and probably whatever Dr. Kane had. So, whoops, now they're gonna rebuild Zero. So yeah, much different tone going into the final level, uh, before it was, you know, very, very, uh, very hopeful, you know? The X-Hunters were on the ropes and we were just going there to finish them off and stall for time so Zero could come back. Now, we've gotta stop Zero from being made because he'll be made wrong. So I just, of course, skipped ahead to after killing all the X-Hunters and the Mavericks, and this time I showed going to this area normally. Which, yeah, brings you to Magna Centipede stage. Maybe I should have shown that in the normal run, but eh, whatever. I don't know, I think it's cooler to just figure out the location of their base, you know, and then go there. Very good aha moment. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, if you hadn't noticed, by the way, uh, the real reason that all of the items you can get in the stage are located in the first half is on purpose. It's because the boss is right over here. Also, not waiting to do this. But yeah, no, uh, anything past this mini-boss right here would have been impossible to collect uh, once you got through the X-Hunter stages, so... That is why the stage is built like this. I think it's cool. Again, maybe not everyone's cup of tea, some people might find this kinda lazy, but whatever. So anyway, Sigma gives the same speech he does in the good ending run, but as you can see, this is normal Red Zero. So, of course, Sigma's gonna leave, and there's nobody to come in and shoot this guy, except for us. Alright, house rule. I don't mind getting hit in an X vs. Zero fight. So, Zero is actually a very difficult boss, but a very fun one. He's very active, uh, he's got good range for someone who fights with a sword, but then again, he's also got a gun, even if he's known for the former. Uh, but yeah, no, he's got that slam attack, so he can just try to attack you from above with debris, so he does have a counter for if you try to jump over him, and especially if you have the air dash. But of course, if you have the air dash, then that's just fun to get over. Uh, he also has a lot of HP. Uh, this is his weakness, but um, he can defend, and he doesn't take much damage, so um, I hope you brought your E-Tanks. I did not want to use them for this fight. Again, house rule X versus zero means I can get hit, but I also don't want to use E-Tanks, because that detracts, I think. It's a cool fight, and it came down to the wire without me needing to drag things down. So, that's zero. But, of course, uh, they really didn't want to have alternate endings, or at least not significant alternate endings, so uh, this is the main difference. Uh, Zero just got shot until he was back to normal, so regardless of what path you take, um, <laughs> there actually really isn't a good or bad ending. Because now Zero's just fine, and we'll be back on X's side in the next game. I guess this could potentially be interesting, but I don't know, I think Zero's comeback uh, before the Sigma fight is way cooler than this. Though it does make more sense why Zero's off to just go blow up a computer, because now he's heavily damaged. Then again, so am I. Alright, so that's it. Roll YouTube credits. <laughs>